The purpose of this lab is to demonstrate the principle of convection in both atmospheric circulation and in ocean currents. Materials needed, one clear plastic box, one beaker 50 milliliters, one wood block, two pipettes, six styrofoam cups, eight plastic lids, one plastic spoon, food coloring, salt, water, both hot and cold, ice cubes, and a graduated cylinder, 100 milliliters. Fill one styrofoam cup with hot tap water, then place it under the center dot. As you can see, the warm water above the cup rises, carrying the food coloring with it. The warmer water then spreads out, then cools, falling back to the bottom, while the cooler water moves inward towards the center, replacing the warm rising water. The cooler water, represented by the two green dots, is moving inward, replacing the warm rising water. This time, fill two cups with hot water and position them beneath the two outside dots. As you can see, the warm water above the two outside cups rises, carrying the food coloring with it. The warmer water then spreads out, then cools, falling back to the bottom of the tub, while the cooler water above the center dot moves outward, replacing the two rising columns of water. This is essentially a recreation of the first lab setup, although this one has two convection cells instead of just one. As you can see, the cooler water, represented by the red food coloring, is now being moved upward by the hot water column on the right. When gases or liquids are heated, their density decreases, causing them to rise above more dense molecules. This is easily seen by looking at the cooler red dye rising through the green dye. This is essentially a low pressure zone similar to the weather. Set up the plastic box once again, as in setups A and B, and fill it with cold tap water to within 3 to 4 centimeters of the top. Let the water become calm. Next, place two spots of food coloring near one end of the box. Position one cup full of hot water beneath each spot. Obtain a blue ice cube. Carefully set the cube into the water at the opposite end of the box from your dye spots. Use the spoon to steady the cube until it stops moving. As you can see, the colder and denser water sinks below the warm rising water. The warm water, represented by the red food coloring, rises due to its lower density. It is then replaced by the colder water from the ice cubes.
Next, carefully and slowly pour 25 milliliters of room temperature salt water into the raised end of the box. As you will see, the salt water, more dense than the surrounding fresh water, will sink to the bottom of the tub. Next, add 25 milliliters of blue cold fresh water. As you can see, the blue cold fresh water is more dense than the surrounding room temperature fresh water. It is, however, less dense than the room temperature salt water. This causes the blue ice water to form a layer between the yellow salt water and the clear fresh water. Finally, add 25 milliliters of hot fresh water dyed red to the raised end of the tub. As you can see, the hot fresh water dyed red stays above the two other layers of water. This is due to the higher temperature of the water, which causes a decrease in density. Starting from the top, the red layer of water is the least dense because of its higher temperature, while the blue layer is more dense because of its lower temperature, but it is not as dense as the yellow water. Finally, the yellow water is the most dense because of its dissolved solids or salinity, even though the salt water is at room temperature.